Hi, in this video I'm going to do a quick review on the Zero Edge Z2 traveling data recorder. Or in other words, a dash cam and a backup camera. So this is the box that comes in. I'm ready to get out of the box and installed it prior to this video. Here's the user manual with details and instructions on how to install it and how to use it. Then in the box comes dash cam, which is this mirror over here. Rubber straps to attach it to the back of your existing mirror. You have a cable for plugging it in, plus you got a much longer cable if you want to uh, include the backup camera and uh, run it around the edges. It's another one. Here is a, a cigarette lighter plug with two USB ports so you could plug in your camera plus your cell phone if you want. I already had an existing one there with three so that's why I'm not using that comes with a memory card which is in the camera right now comes with these small pieces which are used to uh, here's tape you just pull it off and then the wire clips in over here I didn't do that yet because I want to make sure I'm happy with the way I set it up uh, before uh, putting those in and then there's the rear backup camera which I'm going to show you soon and screws to screw it in uh, it comes with double side mounting tape also which I used for now until I'm sure I'm happy with everything and then I go put in those screws probably in a couple days and it comes with a cleaning cloth to make sure your lens and windows stay clean or they could get good videos so here is the camera first I'm going to show you how to install it and then I'm going to get on to the other things so right here if you see on top well first I'm going to show you the back over here is the camera then here are the straps that go onto your existing mirror And up here are two cables. This one is the power, which I have running up here. And then I run it around the edge. Over here, around, down to the corner, around there, all the way there until it comes to the bottom and it goes into the cigarette lighter. If you want to always turn on when your car turns on, you should put it into a cigarette lighter that turns on when the car turns on. If you want to uh, always be off and then just you want to turn on manually, or if you want to always be on and just go by motion sensor, then you'll plug it into one that is always on. Then the second cable over here is the input for the backup camera, which I'm running over here through. You know, later I'm going to put in those clips, but it just runs along here along the edge along the edge up here then it goes over here into the trunk Then in the trunk, it comes behind the carpeting. I just pulled it around the edge. Then went over here, opened this out so for the rear tail light, ran the wire through to the rear tail light, connected to the rear tail light. So when the going to reverse, the backup camera was going to parking mode, which I'll talk about soon. And then the other wire runs in here, down to over here. And here is the uh, backup camera. Now onto this camera. So over here, if you press power, you can hardly see. Okay, either way. Um, the camera has four different modes. You can either be recording in front of it, or press the up you can do behind it and if you see the top right you could have the other camera there also so for example right now I got behind me and top right in front of me and over here just behind me 
over here just in front of me and over here is in front of me and behind me in the top right. If I put the car into reverse, you'll see the camera automatically switches to the back camera and it shows lines to help you park. When you go back into forward, it'll automatically switch back to the previous setting. Over here, you could hit the menu when it's not recording. Um, and then go into the many settings, which I'm not going to into right now because that's just too long. You just read the manual, it'll show you everything you can do. But basically, it can uh, turn on, it has a G sensor that'll see if you would get in a crash, it could freeze the recording, you could uh, set the time so you have the date display, you know, the time and date displayed over there. You can uh, take pictures, you can adjust how long it records, the loop etc. So I'm going to show you in a minute um, the video of you know the results of the camera. Uh, the memory card just goes up on top over here and it has a port for plugging in a GPS if you have that type of unit. Uh, the mirror is wider than the regular mirror which is nice because you can see the complete uh, behind you better. Um, what I don't like about it so much is there's a small tint to it. Um, it's a bluish tint so it makes it a little harder to see out the back. I assume that has to do with making sure that the screen doesn't bother you um, because there is a you know a computer screen there to display what's going on. And uh, besides that the cameras itself they don't really have um, they're decent, but in regards to seeing in front of you during the day, it's beautiful, uh, and in back of you, it's beautiful. Um, they're really good uh, shots. At night, the back of camera does not have um, does not have IR or night vision, so it's real hard to see behind you at night. And in front of you also, um, there's no night vision. A lot, I know a lot of the front ones don't have it because night vision generally reflects off glass, and therefore it's harder to do it. Uh, you need a real advanced one, but the backup camera should at least have uh, night vision, which one this one doesn't have. So overall, I would recommend this system as it's nice. Um, the part I like about it best is since it's part of the mirror, so no one really looks at it as something to steal. Whereas if you have, let's say, for example, the Z1 system, which is right over here, this one people see is sitting on your windshield, and therefore there's a bigger chance I'll break into your car to take it. Whereas this one, it kind of looks built in, and you know when they see the camera in the front, you know even though they see the camera, it looks like it's part of the whole thing, and it more scares people than makes them think, oh, let me go steal this thing off your car. So I'm going to go on to show you a video of different scenes during the day, etc. Um, so you can see how the actual quality is. Thank you, and. Have a great day.